Essex turned the tables on Derbyshire, first with the ball and then with the bat, as Alistair Cook got his summer going with a typically classy 100 on day two of the LV County Championship match in Chelmsford. Derbyshire began the day very much on top on 139 for five, already 45 runs ahead of their hosts, who were blown away for just 94. Now it was Derbyshire's turn. Richard Johnson played on when David Masters found some extra bounce. And two balls later, David Wainwright also found the bounce a little difficult as he nicked off. That was a 29th career fifer for Masters, his 21st for Essex in six seasons. And he added a sixth in his next over as Sunday's hat-trick hero Tim Grunewald lost his off pole. Graham Napier then finished the innings off in a flash. Mark Turner fended a short ball to Tom Wesley. Before last man, Mark Footit went in a similar way. Jake Mickelbrook with a catch this time, and that left Shivnarine Chanderpaul stranded, not for the first time in his career, on 75. With Masters claiming 6 for 46, Derbyshire had slipped from 135 for 4 at one stage to 154 all out to lead by just 60, a lead which was just about knocked off by Cook and his opening partner Mickelborough in the space of 17 overs. It had been a remarkable thing for Essex to have balanced this game up so quickly, now they wanted to make sure that they got themselves well on top, with both openers making a nonsense of what had gone on in the first three and a half sessions of this game, they had every chance. They did lose Mickelborough for 24 just before lunch, he edged a straight ball from West Durston to allow Wayne Madsen to mop up at slip. Essex were soon into the lead after the break and it was to turn out to be a session when Bat finally got the better of ball. Wesley played his part in an excellent partnership of 103, but it was Cook who most eyes were on. He eased to his first LV County Championship 50 of the season, which was made off 95 balls with six fours, and then he never looked back. Indeed, it was a good day for a number of players hoping to be batting with Cook in England colours this summer. Wesley too made a 50, his coming off 70 balls with 10 fours, but he was out soon afterwards when he had his middle stump removed by Grunewald. But Cook was then joined by another man looking to make an impression in the form of Ravi Bapara, and make an impression he did with some exquisite shots all around the wicket. When in this kind of form there are fewer better players to watch than Bapara, although it was perhaps fair to say that he wasn't tested too much by the spin of Durston and Wainwright, who got through plenty of overs on a second day pitch. Cook was by now at the top of his game, a wonderful sight for an England supporter. Indeed, a few vying to be alongside him for the first test match in June were also having splendid days. Cook had not scored 100 since an early tour game down under in November, some 15 innings ago, but he was closing in on one now. It came to his 173rd ball and he celebrated in style after completing his second run, smiling brightly before he cradled his arms in a baby rocking gesture. Yes, it was a daddy hundred, just a different type of one, and one which had included 13 fours. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the new daddy is back. And with that done, he really started to enjoy himself, away from personal pride, and by the way, that was his 45th first class ton. He still had a game to win for his team, and with so much time left in this match, after the extraordinary events of the first three and a bit sessions, there was plenty of time to bat on and on. He and Bapara carried the total to 273, taking their partnership to 112 and the lead to 213. Bapara was out too shy of his own 50. Wainwright had plugged away and was rewarded for his efforts as Bapara drilled the spinner to Madsen. After the long wait, Greg Smith was in and out quickly. Grunewald trapping him in front for just a single. And the use of the night watchman didn't work, as Grunewald then had Masters caught off a leading edge in the same over for a duck. Three wickets had fallen for four runs, but Cook remained firm, and with Ben Folks, the total was carried to 297 for five by the time that stumps were drawn, with the England captain and new father still there on 139. He's taken his side 237 runs ahead, and he has bags of time to score plenty more on the penultimate day. Derbyshire will feel that they have to get him out early to keep in touch in this roller coaster of a game.